Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. I am Reggie and today's video is a very, very exciting video for me. You know why? Because it's April and I got April's Knit Grade. Can you believe it? Just the other day I was recording my last What's on the Hook episode and I was saying how I never get my Knit Grade in the same month that it's supposed to be because I live abroad and it takes like three to four weeks for the packages to actually get to me. So normally I get January's in February, I get February's in March, I get March in April, but this year I got April's in April. <laughs> that is so exciting and you know why? You know why I got April's in April? Because it didn't come in a box, because it came in this envelope. Before I take everything out and tell you what I think about it, I want to talk a little bit about this. It came in a brief and not a box situation. I saw a lot of people doing a knit crate unboxing this month and it all started the same. Okay. Holding the envelope and saying, I don't know why my knit crate came in an envelope this month. Probably due to blah, blah, blah. Well, guys, if you don't read all the emails that Knit Crate send you, then yeah, then you don't know why. But Knit Crate actually sends, I don't know, an average of one to two emails per week. Relatively, the amount of emails they send is normal, but they do send a few emails every month. One of those emails is to tell you that your Knit Crate has shipped. And if you check out those emails and actually bother to open and read them, then you would have known that your knit crate is coming like this this month and not in a box. And if you don't open the emails from knit crate because you're afraid to have spoilers for what's coming in your box, then that's very easy. There is one email a month that says May or April or March reveal. Just don't open that specific one. Don't open the reveal email, open everything else, and you would still be surprised about what's coming in your box. But if you get important information, such as there will be no actual boxes this month, then you wouldn't be surprised when it comes like this. That's just a small, you know, information for you all. Another thing, um, I think personally, for me, as an international subscriber who gets her box late every month, um, that sending it like this is actually very smart. Why? Because us international subscribers actually get our boxes together with the rest of the world because it doesn't ship in a box. When it ships like this, it comes within seven days. So I am not that late. There are actually still people in the US putting out neat crate videos and I just got mine. So. For me, personally, the box, that's just cosmetics. And I, my personal opinion, again, wouldn't mind getting my knit crate like this every single month. I also think that if they start shipping it like this to all their international subscribers, they might even shave a few dollars off the price of the box. Just saying. I know a lot of people like the box. I know some people say it makes them feel special when it comes in box. Some people say that it's part of the experience. My personal opinion is that everything that's cosmetics can be put aside. As long as I get what I want in my knit crate, which is the yarn, which is why I get knit crate. So I'm going to let you guys Think it over and just tell me in the comments if you agree with me or not. Personally, for me, as someone who does not live in the States, I would love to get my knit crate like this every single month if it means I will get it in time. Now you've probably already seen the yarn for this month. It's called Uru yarn and I got the ruby colorway and I knew this was coming as I've told you all in my last video. I already know what's coming in my knit crate every month and because I knew what was coming in April's knit crate I ordered from Whisper Crochet um, four hanks of colors who are sort of coordinating to this one to make a larger project. So I'm just gonna show you again so these are the yarns that I got from Whisper Crochet. They are purple and sort of like a coral red. 
and this is the ruby color that I got from Knitcrate and I'm going to make one large project with all three colorways and I don't know how long it's gonna take me to make it but I hope that I will be able to show you soon a finished product um, so that you can see how they go together. The content of the yarns is not exactly the same but it is very similar and they are the same weight and about the same yardage so they should go very well together. And if you follow my channel then you know that this is definitely my sort of go-to um, palette. This for me is a very successful knit crate month not just because I love the colors but also because it came in time. The next thing in the box is this postcard. Now, I have also heard a lot of opinions about this postcard. Guys, Knitcrate, just like all the rest of us, they are also suffering from this whole COVID-19 situation. So, they sent a postcard with a link to download your booklet. So go to the link and look at the booklet. And if you like it and want it printed, just print it. And if you don't like it and you don't like the patterns, which is like 80% of the people I watch at least on YouTube, don't actually go and make the patterns that come in the booklets. So if you are one of those people who don't actually make the patterns that come in the booklets, then what do you need the booklet for? Then you got a postcard, big deal. Also, if you follow my channel, then you know that I am all for environmental friendly things. And this is way more friendly to the environment than a booklet. Printing just one postcard per person and giving an online download. I think, again, if they do this every month, maybe they can shave a few dollars off the price of the crate, save the money on printing the booklets. And whoever wants the booklet will do the digital download and whoever doesn't won't and I, I hear a lot of people say not everyone have the possibility to print and not everyone have access well if you're watching me right now then you definitely have access to some kind of electronic appliance and so at least viewing the booklet online is something that you can do you don't have to print it uh, you can download it and use it from your tablet, from your computer, on your phone, whatever you have. I think, in my personal opinion, that is way better than producing a whole booklet every month, which from at least the people I watch, I think I can very surely say that about 80% of those people end up having those booklets either laying somewhere, um, stuck on some shelf or maybe even in the garbage. So this, my personal opinion, way better. The only thing about this whole April knit crate that I was not 100% happy with is the extra. Um, but in general, I hear a lot of opinions about the extras in Knitcrate over the past few months. They did say that they are working towards improving uh, the ex extras in the second half of the year. They could not improve it right away as they got the feedback because they always plan several months ahead with the crates. So I am looking forward to see what we're going to start getting after June and see if they are actually making the effort of giving us better extras. This month we got this wool wash sample as an extra. Uh, I saw people getting different kinds. Mine is called Celebration. I'm not sure what um, the scent of this is, but I like that it kind of the colors are kind of matching with the yarn. Um, that was not true to everyone though. Uh, all the people I watch, each of them got a different one. But I mean, I, I think I will at least, I know personally, I will use this and I might even end up using the coupon. I will just have to go on the website and see how much a bottle of this actually costs and if it makes any sense for me to use the coupon and actually buy it. Um, but, you know, I think it's at least you got an extra. At least you got a neat crate. There were so many companies uh, this month that could not have delivered on uh, promises, on, on purchases. I 
personally i don't think i talked about it uh, before but i ordered from hobby if you guys follow my channel you know that i order from hobby very very often about twice a month and this is the first time ever that my order did not arrive within two days so hobby deliver out of denmark i live in germany normally very very fast uh it's at my door and this month it took them two weeks so two weeks to get from denmark to germany is a very very long delivery time but you know in my personal opinion if my knit crate shipped uh, around the 10th of the month and arrived here in germany from the us and it is still april then i think it's a win at least i got one you know i could have just as well not get one and i'm the kind of person who likes to always look at the cup half full so i know that this month my personal opinion about knit crate is on the non-popular side of the scale i do know that there are some people who think like me but i do also know that the majority of the people were kind of disappointed at least the ones i watched they were disappointed about not having a crate they were disappointed about not having a booklet they were disappointed about the extra being lame uh i know i know my opinion this month is not a popular one but i think that even non-popular opinions uh, should be heard maybe there are other people out there who do think like me and it's important that they hear that someone thinks like them as well so i personally i like this i i think that april knit great in my opinion is a great success and mainly because I like the yarn i mean that that's why i get knit crate and i got beautiful yarn that i love and i got it in april which is actually the month that i was supposed to get it and just for me the 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 you know saving the environment is just a cherry on top i wrote knit crate i wrote them a message and i asked them if they can please when everything goes back to normal continue shipping my personal knit crate only mine like this so that i can actually get it in the month that it's supposed to come every single month then i will be thrilled i mean that's that's all i ask just continue shipping mine like this i would be more happy if you also continue with this idea and i would be even more happy uh, if other people will understand how much better this is and i think that boxes are cosmetics and i think that booklets are cosmetics and yes there may be people who uh, the booklet is more excessive to them let's say it this way i understand that and i do not rule it out but you know what a great idea would be to let people choose if you have to have the booklet then you can choose to have it and if not then you can choose to contribute to the environment by not having them print one more for you so that's just you know my personal opinion and my excitement about actually getting my knit crate in april and i just got it literally like maybe five minutes ago and i had to go upstairs here and film this video to get it out to you because i wanted to share my excitement with you all so i would love to hear in the comments everything you have to say even if you do not agree with me um, as long as you keep a nice uh, language i appreciate all the opinions i think everyone is entitled to have their own opinions and all opinions are good as long as they are opinions they are good it doesn't matter if they match mine or not so just you know feel free to comment whatever you want i will not be offended if you have a different opinion than mine thank you all very very much for watching and i will see you all next time bye